Welcome everyone. It is Faculty Friday. This is your chance to learn about the amazing faculty that you would get to work with as a student in the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. It is NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writers Month, and I have the privilege of having an amazing novelist with us to give us some tips uh, connected to novel writing. This is Karen E. Bender, who who uh, was nominated for a National Book Award for her short story collection, Refund, but she also has two amazing novels, um, A Town of Empty Rooms, and the other one, which I'm about to blank on, is um, Like Normal People, right? <laughs> which is the first novel of yours that I read. So, duh, well, I, should, I should forget that, Like Normal People. So, uh, and oh, I should also say, I'm Sophronia Scott. I'm the director of the program. So thank you for joining us, Karen. Thank you. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. So today um, we're going to talk about a, an interesting concept because when you're working with the long form novel, right, it's um, it's like, when do you share your work? So we're going to talk about protecting your work. Yes. Yeah. So, so you know, um, I have much sympathy to the, everyone that is starting a novel because I feel like writing a novel is like trying to hug a buttered elephant. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like that is what it's like. It is so hard to figure out how to put your art. It's so hard to get a hold of a book. Um, and so you're not alone in that. Um, and I do think that there's a lot of mess that ma is made. There are a lot of you know, sort of wrong turns, there's a lot of exploring. And so one thing to remember is just that you don't have to show your work to people, even if they ask you, you know, even if they want to see it, because people may not say things that are helpful. Um, they may th say things like, it's better than Shakespeare, or it's not as good as Shakespeare, or things that actually have nothing to do with your work. So I would say learning to say no to people and that I'm just working on it. I'm trying to figure out how to deal with this elephant um, is what you is the best thing to do as a, as a novelist. Yeah. And it's good to, to let people know that it's okay to do that, whether you're a beginning novelist or even right. now, because I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have not sent my <laughs> editor anything of the new novel I'm working on yet. Totally. Yeah, no, I definitely, you know, have moments when I want to share work with like, you know, a select group or when, you know, when I just don't want to, because I just feel like I need to figure it out and I need to make my mistakes. Yeah. And then Karen, um, is there a sense of, of when, like what, what should a writer expect when, when they are ready to, to show it? Like, should they have oh. a certain expectation or, or a reason that they're showing it? Oh, it's well, I think you want to find a person or a reader that feels like someone you can trust, someone that's on your wavelength, that someone that feels like they can read in a way that feels supportive, but maybe not just saying like, it's all great, you know, but um, have things that that they think uh, they'd want to know more about or things to develop. Um, so I think it's trying to find the people that are your readers, you know. Yeah, and and can give good feedback. Um, yeah. And that, that's actually... Uh, the wonderful thing about being in an MFA program because th there are people who are trying to write to a certain level and right. they won't do that automatic oh it's like Shakespeare like <laughs> they know that you're working on something that there's something right. you're trying to do and and they will help you help you get there like they, they will like sit in the seat with you it's like oh okay I see I see you're trying to steer that way and, yeah. and so let's try to turn that way and and yeah it's it's vital yeah, they're your team. They're your team and they're helping you. And the idea is with a good group of readers, with a good MFA, what you want to do is have a group that's going to help you get to that next place. Okay. Yeah. And before we close, I will let everyone know that it is a particular thing to pursue a novel while you're in a low residency MFA program. And another faculty mentor, Robert Vivian and I actually did a long form conversation about this topic. You can look it up on our YouTube channel. It, it will be there and it will, it, and the reason it's not a Faculty Friday is because you'll see it's a much longer conversation <laughs> in, in a much <laughs> bigger topic. So we did that just for you. So look it up. Until then, she's Karen Bender. I'm Sophronia Scott. We are with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. We are taking applications for our next term, and I hope you will join us. Take care.